It's Monday, July 3rd. You're listening to Your Florida Daily. I'm Katrina Scales. Just as big crowds get ready to head to the beach for the holiday week ahead, lifeguards along the coast are warning of dangerous rip currents. And in Brevard County, the strong surf may already be to blame for a man's death. Police in Cocoa Beach say on Sunday evening they've responded to a report of a possible drowning at Lori Wilson Park. They say when they arrived, several people were pulling 66-year-old Ronald Bailey Jr. from the ocean. He was rushed to the hospital, where he was later pronounced dead. Brevard County lifeguards say dozens of others had to be rescued from the rough surf this weekend. They're urging anyone heading to the water to use caution and to swim near a lifeguard. Fire officials are warning the community to be careful after an apartment in Marion County went up in flames. Over the weekend, they say a child was setting off fireworks inside the home. Everyone evacuated and firefighters say they also rescued a dog who was trapped inside one of the units. Ocala Fire Rescue says the flames impacted four apartments altogether and they're asking the public to be vigilant when it comes to firework safety ahead of 4th of July celebrations. And two sales tax holidays are now in effect for Floridians, giving you the chance to save hundreds on household appliances. Under the Energy Star sales tax holiday, washing machines, clothing dryers, and water heaters under $1,500 are tax-free. Refrigerators and freezers costing up to $4,500 are also included. A separate sales tax holiday is also in effect for gas ranges and cooktops. The year-long sales tax exemption went into effect on July 1st and includes any range that is fueled by propane, natural gas, or butane. Both tax holidays expire June 30th, 2024. Find these top stories along with breaking news, weather, and traffic all day on ClickOrlando.com. And now, a completely random Florida fact. Florida's oldest continually published weekly newspaper is the News Leader. It was founded in 1879 in the city of Stark in Bradford County more than 143 years ago. Stark was a boomtown back in the 1880s and 1890s from Florida's citrus industry, but it saw its downfall during the state's great freeze in the winter of 1894. The city boomed back though in post-World War II thanks to its strawberry fields. Your Florida Daily is produced by News 6 WKMG in Orlando. I'm Katrina Scales. Subscribe for new episodes wherever you like to listen.